And joining us now, a very special guest with firsthand knowledge of just went, what went down in Afghanistan. He's Sergeant Evan Buto, who was Bo Bergdahl's team leader uh, in the field. Uh, Sergeant Buto, we thank you for joining us today on America's Forum. Let's get right to it. Yeah. We have a couple of minutes here, and then we want to get uh, want to get more comments on the other side of the break. Tell us what you recall about Evan Bergdahl, or pardon me, about uh, uh, Bo Bergdahl's disappearance in Afghanistan. Uh, we were um, at a very small OP on very uh, front lines in Afghanistan. Um, it was just man manned by one platoon, which had been second platoon of Blackfoot Company. Um, there was about 30, 30 of us there, and uh, we just uh, pulled guard out of our trucks and a couple bunkers. And um, the morning of uh, June 30th, um, when someone went to wake up Bergdahl for his guard shift, he um, he wasn't there. And we looked, and it kind of went out. We looked over the OP, which was very small. It just took a little bit, and he was gone. Um we immediately sent out patrols to the villages to see what anybody knew, um, and immediately a couple um, small boys came up to us and said, hey, we, we saw an American crawling through the weeds here this morning, and we thought that was interesting. And uh, so that, that was our first, uh, first knowledge that he did just walk away and was going somewhere we didn't know at the time, and, um, and it just kind of all started to develop from there. Well, Sergeant, uh, we're going to step away for a commercial break real quickly, but before we do that, I just wanted to ask you one more question. Before uh, Sergeant Bergdahl walked away from his post, was there any indication, at least from your perspective, that something wasn't right with him, that he may have had a tendency to do this, that he was thinking about? I mean, we, we have reports of him indicating that even perhaps he, before he left for his mission, but when you saw him in country, was there anything to you that indicated that he should not have been there with you guys? Maybe his mind wasn't right. Um, now, hindsight is twenty twenty. Um, before he left, there, there was things that he said, um, after him leaving, we look back and we say, well, there's a sign right there, but nothing alarming right off the bat. Um, he did discuss his, uh, how he didn't like America's mission in the army's, uh, how we were uh, handling the war over there. And he was frustrated with that. Um, he mailed his computer home. But, that, but that's, those are all important time. things, and, and we'll leave it here for just a second. We can, yeah. we can pick up some more on this. But nothing that stood out, obviously, enough where, you know, at least when this happened, you thought for sure that he may have gone AWOL. But important to note, and we'll have some more on this, uh, Sergeant Buto, when we come back from the commercial break real quickly, if you could stick around with us. Evan Buto, we appreciate your time. Going to have you back on the other side of the break. Also joined in this conversation by Howie Carr and David Patton. That's still to come. You'll want to stay with us as we hear from Sergeant Buto yes, yet again on uh, just what went down uh, with Bo Bergdahl. That's straight ahead here on America's Forum.